Hey Lavish fam, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. Um, so I had a client this morning and then I came home and actually started packing for my cruise on Friday. I leave Friday. Well, we leave Friday night, but we cruise out Saturday um, afternoon. So we're going to like get a hotel room in Miami. Like I think we leave at like 930 at night, but we're going to just kind of get a hotel room um, because I don't, what was the reason why we didn't leave on Saturday? I don't know. I think the flight times were like wonky or the, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I think we, I think too, because you know, a lot of flights have been getting canceled lately. I think that was another reason we were like, let's just go Friday night. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. So you know what? I got a package. So hold please. Okay. So I actually got two packages, but I don't, I think I know what this one is. I think I might know what both is, but I don't think, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see. So, yeah, I finally started packing. I don't know if it's just lately. I've just been really procrastinating when it comes to packing. I used to pack. Oh, this is from Kirativa. So, they wanted to do another collab. And I was just like, I cannot decide because I love. So, let me sit you guys. Hold on. I love so much of their jewelry. So I was just like, surprise me. Surprise me. So whatever y'all send, I'm just, you know, going to go with it, you know. So, um, so we're both going to be surprised together because I don't know what's in this box, okay. So this is the box. So let's see. Look at this. Look, look, look. So they asked me for a picture. Like, you know, like a a picture that I would want, you know, on something. And look at this jewelry box. <laughs> I am in love with this. Look at this. This is from my wedding. Can you see? Oh my goodness. This is going to be perfect. For to put in my suitcase to put my jewelry in when we it's so cute look at this oh my goodness look I love this I'm trying not to cry y'all because this was like one of my favorite pictures from our wedding like y'all I'm such a sap. I'm telling you, I'm such a sap. I want to like, I'm trying to like hold back the tears, y'all. Because this is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. And then it's this really soft like pink color to match the kind of pull. Oh my goodness. Who cares, Tiva? Y'all did it, honey. Y'all did it. And then I have some jewelry. So let's see what I have. Like a necklace. My nails look a hot mess. I'm trying to decide on what I'm going to do before this trip. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Look at this. I'm trying to focus it very, very well. That is so pretty. That is so, so pretty. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. And then they sent... Hold on, I'm trying to open it up. My little chubby fingers. And then, of course, I don't have any nails. So... The bracelet to match it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Hold on. 
There we go. You see it? It matches the necklace. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Kira Tifa. The box it comes with a little jewelry bag. And then just kind of, I think, let's see what's in here. It's a little cleaning cloth. A little greeting card. And then just a thank you. How to care for the jury. And then a little gift bag if you were gifting this to someone. Let me see if they offer a discount, but I'm sure they are. Hold one second. So, hold please. Okay, so all of their information will be linked down below in the description box. Um, yeah, I am in love with these pieces. I'm such a sap. <laughs> So yeah, um, so anyway, uh, with that being said, I do still need to do quite a bit of packing, but I think tomorrow morning, because I don't want to leave, I want to be gone, I think the cruise is like eight nights, I think it's eight nights, and um, I can't leave and not leave y'all something, you know, to see, you know, for a, that's a long time, so so, what I think I'm going to do is record a story time. And this one. <laughs> Don't y'all start judging me until y'all hear the story, okay? Don't start judging me. This is just a disclaimer. It's about when I got arrested by the feds. Yeah. Good girl. Me. Arrested. By the feds. Yep. <laughs> I told y'all, honey. It's a lot to me. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um. So, <laughs> I think I'll this this vlog is gonna come out on Sunday, which is the 18th, I think. And then the story time the story time will come out. Let's see. Let me find my calendar. Okay, so the eighth, the twenty-first will be my story time about when I got arrested by the feds. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, so I did. I did talk to, talk it over with Ariel because I wanted to make sure she felt comfortable with me releasing this story. But I am. And she's okay with it. So. Yeah, y'all. So. Um, I want to do. Um, so look. I also. Let me, let me go get it. Let me go get it first. So hold please. And I'll tell y'all. Hold on. Hold please. Okay, so um, when I come back from vacation, because I thought I was going to be able to do it before I, before I go, before we leave, um, is to paint the doors upstairs. And um, so when my neighbor friend uh, came over, she and I was just kind of walking through and I was telling her how I plan to paint like the doors and, um, you know, how some of the doors, I feel like will be great to do both sides black like of course my bedroom Kai's bedroom the man cave the the laundry room little things and then you know but anyway all of the doors in my bedroom will be black so that means like the bathroom all that because the colors in there are all black white and gray I'm out of breath I just ran up the stairs and ran back so anyway um I want to once I paint it I want to start putting up some artwork in the bathroom as well. So I had commission. I don't know if y'all remember, but I had commissioned my nephew to do me um, a piece to draw me some like a, a you know. And we had went to Hobby Lobby to um, to buy the stuff, and it was taking him forever to give it to me. So 
right before my sister and I stopped talking, he brought it over. And I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. Yeah. It's not what, what I thought it was going to be. Um, I wanted him to do something that kind of played off of the artwork that's in the bat the bedroom. You know, I have those silhouette pictures. Um, and that's what I sent him. I sent him a bunch of silhouettes. Like, you know, just this is what I kind of want. I want to keep it to be kind of the same. Um, and this is what he, he, he drew. And I, you know, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that I didn't like it. Um... I mean, it's not that I hate it, it's just not what I was expecting. So, I think I'm going to take like take a chance and do um like a a shower curtain um some shower curtain artwork. I've been seeing it and I've seen lots of people do it, not lots of people, but I've seen people do it on YouTube and it's come out nice. So what my plan is in the morning is to, I might do it tonight, is to, I may not have to. Let me look. Let, hold on. So what I did was I went on Amazon and I ordered a shower curtain from Amazon that I liked. That was more of a abstract art. So yeah, this abstract art. So yeah, I think what I'm going to end up doing is, is I'm going to spray paint this black, the entire thing black, so that way it covers up this um, completely because I don't want it to like bleed through. So I'm going to spray paint this whole canvas black and then I'm going to put this on there. And find like the, the exact, you know, space that I really like on here. And I'm going to hang this above the tub. So, that's what we're going to be doing before I go on vacation. Because, you know, I got some time. <laughs> I got some time. Tomorrow I'm completely like free other than picking up best friend at like 5 o'clock. Um, so, I got plenty of time tomorrow. And, oh shoot, I got to get my lashes done too. But that's after Ariel gets off work. So, that's the plan. So, for now, I'm going to just go outside and spray paint this completely black. So, that way, it'll be nice and dry for tomorrow. So, I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm all done. Um, because y'all have seen me spray paint or air, yeah, spray paint things lots of times. So, I'll show you what it looks like once it's all dry. And then, we'll do this artwork together. Don't start talking mess. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Um, what's today? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. And as you can see, she ain't working. It ain't. It ain't. Nope, ain't working today or tomorrow. How about that? Um, but <laughs> look who's here. She ain't working either. I'm in my scrubs. I mean, some people wear scrubs all the time. Don't you got a cousin who walk around in camel, in camel gear? Sure, that's my aunt. That's my aunt. Ain't never been in the military. <laughs> anyway, um, so, let me see who it was before I, hold please, let me just make sure I got the name correct. Hold, hold please. Miss Nina. Nina Justice, baby, you are correct. Just want you to know. So last night, um, one of the comments when I put it on the, on the vlog about that film on the window, um, I never, I, I read the reviews, of course, and it was like mixed reviews. So she asked me, like, of course it works during the daytime because y'all have seen that. She asked me, does it work at nighttime? Because she's had, you know, 
where when you turn the light on, you can see directly into the house. So last night I was like, I'm going to test it and see if that's true. Major fail. So now I need to go and find some more film for the window or some type of a covering for the window because that thing don't even work at night. I can, I mean, it is crazy. The moment I turn on any lights in the house, you can basically see straight into the house. That yeah. You. you can see directly into the house from the door. Um, no, because I don't have the lights on at night. But anyway. You're naked and afraid. <laughs> Y'all, I can't stand Ariel. I cannot stand Ariel. But anyway, um, is she always here? <laughs> I also need to go and read the directions on my camera because I'm not giving y'all no more blurry vlogs. This is the ghetto. So yeah, um, that's where we're at. And I'm gonna go right now while she's cooking me some breakfast um, and read the directions on my camera. So I'll be back. Okay, so I think I figured out my camera situation. Um, so I had the YouTube because there was no paperwork in my box, which is weird. It was just on like little things, but it was nothing on there really showing how to operate it. So anyway, um, what the problem was is my camera is a 4D camera, so it's automatically set to 4D. And um, so 4D is a basically a close up shot. So the moment I basically do something that's a wider angle, then it is blurry because it's used to have it's supposed to have that close up so i had to change the settings to like 1080 which is basically what i download the vlogs in 1080 because you know my my i need a new macbook because this one of course does not handle the capacity um of larger vlogs most of the time Long story, if it's 4D, it's a larger, like, um, gigabyte or whatever, a larger file. And my camera, my my computer be like, mm-mm. So I'm going to end up just basically, because I think, I think the storage on here is just too small. Um, either way, I'm going to, I want a desktop, so most likely I'll be getting one of those, probably for Christmas or right after. But anyway, I think I fixed it. So, um... With that being said, best friend's birthday is September 25th, and it's the day after Dante and I come back from our cruise. So um, his mom wants them to take like um, take pictures together for his birthday. So one of Kai's favorite sayings is, <laughs> "Be happy to me." Um, so he'll say, "Oh, he'll say, I'm happy to you." I'm not mad. I'm happy to you. Or he'll say, you know, uh, don't be mad. Be happy to me. So um, on his shirt, I think I'm going to make him and Ariel shirts. They these yellow shirts, um, and it's going to say his. His is going to say, be happy to me. It's my birthday. And then on the back, I'm going to put his name. And then Ariel's shirt will say, um, be happy to him. It's his birthday. And then on the back of hers will say, Kai's mommy. So I'm going to be making those um, with, you know, uh, well, I'm downloading the vlog right now for my travel channel. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and work on that canvas art that or is it called canvas art. Yeah, canvas shower curtain art <laughs> that I was working on yesterday. So let me just show you what the um, the canvas looks like spray painted black I did not try to like get it perfect because it's literally going to be covered up but I just wanted the picture that was in the back of it to like be gone so hope please okay so this is what it looks like just you know one coat of spray paint 
So I'm going to go ahead and change location so that way we can work on this while this vlog is downloading. It's going to take forever because it's like 58 minutes. So this is what it looks like. All right, let's get on the flow. Okay, so I have the camera pointed down. This is me. <laughs> and so basically, I don't know if you can see it good. Hold on. So basically what I'm going to do is find the location. This ain't a good angle. Hold on. Okay, so. Alright, so this is the canvas. And this is the shower curtain. So basically what I'm going to do is find the location that I like the best for my picture. And then of the of the curtain so and then I'm gonna cut it down to size and then I'm gonna iron it because it's wrinkle AF and um, it's not gonna look good if it's got these creases all through it so let me figure out which piece I like the best and most likely I'm going to use other parts of this to make smaller canvases for the other parts of the wall, but the large canvas is the one that I'm more so concerned with at the moment. So. Let me figure it out, which piece I like the best, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've come up with. Okay, so this is the piece that I chose for my larger piece. And you want to make sure you cut enough that you can tuck it, of course, and um, as well as be able to staple it under the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of heat, knock out those wrinkles, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, hold please. Okay, so, um, I've knocked out some of the wrinkles. Doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to stretch it anyway. Um, and those will come out pretty much once you put your canvas on there. So, um, so of course you want to make sure you line it up perfectly to how you want it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from side to side stapling so that way I make sure that it's nice and tight and, you know, straight, of course. And then I'm going to just use my heavy duty stapler that I got from Walmart a while ago for little of nothing. So I'm going to staple the top, the bottom and the sides and I'm going to flip it over just to make sure it's positioned the way that I want it to be. So.
So this is what it's going to look like once I'm all done. Just nice and tight. So I'm going to finish that and then I'll show you all what it looks like. So, this is my first attempt. So, this is what it looks like. I don't think it looks too bad for my first try. So, yeah. I'm going to hang this in the bathroom above the um, tub but I think I'm going to wait until I paint the doors and then I'll do my finishing touches because I think I'm also going to make um, a bath tray is, is that what they call I don't know what they call hold please let me look hold, hold please okay so it is called a bathroom tray caddy so it is the thing that goes across your tub so when you're taking a bath you can put your glass up there or you can put like your um you know like your book or whatever so i want to make one of those when i come back from vacation so that i can like kind of finish up the bathroom it's been a long time coming um our tubs are pretty wide because it's like the um, it's not a jacuzzi tub, but it's more of a, um, a whirlpool type of tub. So it's kind of wide. So finding one on Amazon that fits right across the middle section is a little tough. So my plan is to attempt to make one. I'm going to make it in black and then I'm going to put like, of course, like polyacrylic on top of it so that it's water resistant or that, it, you know, so that it doesn't. But either way, that's my plan is to do that when I come back from vacation. So I'm going to also hang this at that time um, and whatever else I've come up with by the time I do so. But this is what the first one looks like. And I think I might make two other ones to... Ugh to put in the master bedroom to tie the two rooms together I might put them on the wall um, over by the the chase since I have so much material left over but I don't think it looks too bad I'm sure y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments so um, now that my video is finally downloaded, I think I'm going to go ahead and start making Kai and Ariel's t-shirts for their for his, uh, for his birthday. Because like I said, his birthday is the 25th. And I'll let you guys see what they look like once I'm all done. So yeah, what time is it? It's 12 o'clock. So I got plenty of time before I have to pick him up from school. So I'll be back in just a bit. I meant to tell you that I paid $10 for this shower curtain. And the canvas was less than ten dollars because you know Hobby Lobby has them like 50% off every other week <laughs> so whatever the original price was I paid 50% for for it so 50% off for it so it was I know I made this for way less than 20 bucks so that's what we're looking like and then I have plenty more canvases in the closet that I've never used so <laughs> I just figured I should let y'all know the price
Y'all, it took me forever <laughs> to make these two shirts. Um, I'm very indecisive. It's it's like 3.30. I'm very indecisive about things. Um, and I start second guessing myself a lot. Not second guessing, but like rethinking things. So, like I said, it took me forever. But they're done. <laughs> um, so these are the shoes that he's wearing for his birthday. Um, they're like just some champions because I had bought him a bunch of like champion uh, jogging suits um, and then I saw these shoes as well so I ended up getting him these and then he's going to be wearing these on his birthday so his shirt is yellow blue and black and it just says <laughs> has the little balloons on it and it says be happy to me it's my birthday because like I told you he always be like be happy to me I'm ha I'd be happy to you. you be happy to me. Are you happy to me? So that's just one of his little sayings. And then on the back, it just has his name. So, and then I bought, I'm mean, not bought. I made his mom one, like I said, because they want to take pictures together. So the back of hers just says, um, Kai's mommy. And the front of hers say, be happy to him. It's his birthday. And it has the black balloons behind it. And then, like I said, then the, the words on the back are, like, shadowed. So it's black and blue. So, yeah. And then he's going to wear just, like, some blue jeans or whatever. So, um, for his birthday. So, I think I'm going to... Wait a minute. <laughs> I got a delivery. So, let's unbox it. And then I will go and eat some lunch or a late lunch and then um, get ready to pick him up before I go get my lashes done because I'm going to Ariel's house to get my lashes done so hold please okay so the delivery is right here Let's open it up I can always tell when something comes from overseas versus a U.S. delivery. Are y'all the same way? They package things different than people in the United States do. So. Uh, it says Gucci, but I don't know what none of the rest says because it looks like it's... Oh, wait, wait. I don't know. It's not really in English. But it's like the Gucci wrapping. Okay. Comes pretty protected. Has a plastic bag over it as well as a dust bag. Oh, 
this is cute. Oh my goodness. So I received this from Tyke One. I'm, I believe I'm saying it correctly. Tyke One Bags Official. TIK. I'll, I'll link everything, of course. Um, and they sent me this Gucci bag. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. Oh my, I love this. Absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. So that's the inside. It smells good. It has the the plastic around the le um the letter so that they don't get scratched up. So you know, or whatever. But let's take this apart. I absolutely love this for fall. Um, because, you know, of course, fall colors is this really pretty. It's all types of browns. So I do wear a lot of brown in the fall and winter time. So I thought this would be really fitting for um, that fall, for my fall wardrobe. It's wrapped pretty good. And, of course, you know, I wear crossbodies with my purses. I don't. I remember I used to wear really big purses when I when the girls were younger. I felt like I had to carry everything in there. Um, but now that you know, I just basically take my wallet, and my keys, and lotion in my hand sometimes. Oh, in a pen. <laughs> uh oh gosh, I'm just like I'm still knocking it over. But. This is it. I'm 5'4 and it hits me right at the stomach area, which is perfect. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me move y'all back a little bit. Okay, so that's it. shorter bag yes I am here for this thank you so much type one oh my goodness I love this so I will link all of the information below in the description box and I'm gonna go have some lunch and um, relax a bit before it's time for me to pick up stink so I have like an hour and a half <laughs> so I'll be back and we'll talk once I get my lashes done once I you know once I get my lashes done so I'll be back good morning y'all so today is Wednesday it is it's Wednesday let me just make sure y'all in focus I think so but um, it's like 10 in the morning and I am going to go and get my um, nails done because we leave on Friday and yeah so I know I'm gonna get a pedicure I'm not sure about my nails because I slammed my ring finger in the door some weeks back and it's still healing so that's why I took my nails off because it was like I mean it was horrible um, so yeah, so I'm still trying to decide on whether I'm going to do anything about that or, or not, but I do know I'm getting a pedicure today and I did not get my lashes done last night because Amazon did not deliver the lashes that I wanted until, um, 830 last night. 
yeah so <sighs> I didn't get them done but she's gonna come over on Thursday when she get off work and do them um, Thursday yeah they didn't come until late and she had some but the ones that I actually wanted she was out of so yeah and then also I need to go to Lowe's because um, I'm gonna be re oh yeah this is what I want I'm gonna be doing um, redoing well I'm gonna be doing Kai's bedroom over at Ariel's house so while I was over there yesterday we just kind of went over the game plan and what you know um, and what's the plan and what you know what the direction is that you know I plan to go and he has a, a dresser that I'm gonna be refurbishing so I need to replace that um, these so because when they moved the dresser from our rental home to her place somehow two of these are missing so I'm just gonna replace all of them no one two all the ones on the drawer are missing. The ones on the side are there, but the ones on the drawer are just gone. Weird, right? So I'm gonna be replacing these, so I need to go to Lowe's and get new ones. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to pack. <laughs> I need to pack, I need to pack, I need to pack. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, so I'm gonna make some oatmeal too. So, hope please. Okay, so what I was about to say is I'm not a big I'm not a big TV watcher. Um, I do watch YouTube um, quite a bit more so than anything um, because I get a lot of ideas for projects or um, just you know what I'm saying there's people that I like to watch. So I don't and, but I'm able to like pause it, come back, whatever if I need to. But anyway. I don't know what made me decide to click on this show on Netflix yesterday and it's called Devil in Ohio. Y'all, why it was like eight or nine episodes and I started watching it before I went to pick up Best Friend yesterday and um, I think I watched one and a half episodes while I was up last night until like two in the morning watching the entire eight episodes. <laughs> And was like ready for season two. It's crazy. So I don't know. I I, I don't know. Cause like I said, I usually don't watch much TV um, because I'm always busy doing stuff too. But either way, I was I was up to two, and then didn't want to get up this morning. guys can see I am wearing my new purse today and I also have on my Carativa jewelry let me let y'all see so this is the bracelet and this is the necklace and then this is of course the purse I just have on all black today so I have on like you know just a black t-shirt some black joggers and my black um guest sandals so that the purse can actually just kind of pop by itself and of course i'm going to have all this link below with their discount codes for you guys if you all are interested so i'm going to have some oatmeal we'll run my errands and then i will come back and we will i need the pack gosh so many things that i need to do I don't even know um yeah so i'll be back i'll be <laughs> i'll be back y'all i gotta just you know my head just you know so i'll be back so hey just got back from getting my pedicure and i, um, I also went to lowe's i went to a new nail place that my neighbor friends uh she goes to and baby i think that was the best pedicure i've ever had in my life <laughs> i've been getting pedicures for at least 25 30 years and when i tell you that that was probably the best pedicure i don't say 30 years about 25 
that was the best pedicure I think I've, I've ever had. Like, that lady took her time and she, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm definitely going back there. I'm just, I mean, oh. But anyway, I went on and went to Lowe's and got the, th you know how you get in places and then you start, oh, I need this. Oh, I probably should get this. And then you come out of there and you get to, I mean, you get to the restaurant and you're like, I didn't even plan to spend this much money. That's always my story. Always. I went in there for these and maybe some drop calls. I'm hoping these are the right ones because I, don't, I ain't the person that be opening stuff in the, in the store, but let me see. People do be, and this wasn't one of the ones that somebody had already decided that they was going to open. They $5, so it's not like I spent a whole, whole lot of money. I'm just hoping they're the right length. Because I didn't met. Oh, these are too, these might be too long. Hmm. Shoot. Oh, please. Okay, so the ones that they had in the store, this was, this. they had a 14 and a 16. I got the freaking 16, but these are freaking 15s. God dang it. They didn't have a 15. So we gonna see. Hopefully they work. I ain't never put these on before, but how hard could it be, right? Yeah, how hard could it be? We gonna find out and hopefully they work. Um, I also got some more paint stuff because you know, when I come back, I'm going to be painting the upstairs doors um, as well. So, got that. Put these in. I don't want to lose the nails. Um, got some more sanding um, things for my sander. Yeah, so... Just some more disposable um, paint pails or whatever, and um, some more drop cloths. And when I once I finish painting the master bathroom doors, I plan to also put, you know put that put that picture <laughs> that I made yesterday in there and I also do not have like I would like to put up a hook let me show you what so I got this hook right here to put on the side of the sink so I can put like a hand towel on it because in our bathroom we don't usually have a roll of paper towels on the sink but in the other two bathrooms I do because those are guest bathrooms but in our bathroom I wouldn't mind putting a, a hand towel for Dante and I to kind of dry our hands on versus always having to dry it on our our, our big dry towel you know um, bath towel so I'm gonna put one up I think so I got this as well what else did I get? Like I said, I got some more sanding, um, sandpaper for my electric sander. And these are brackets for shelves because I have some projects that I want to do. So next month in October, my plan is to um, do Kai's room, of course. I want to be making three nightstands, one for his room and two for Ariel's room. We've already got the wood. We got that the other day when we were out. Um, so when I come back, I'm gonna be doing those projects as well as painting the door. So I'm gonna be finally back out in my shop. <laughs> and then I will start working on um, inside of my home again because we're finally, Finally moving out of the rental home. So October, our lease is up. We've already scheduled the um, the movers for like, um, I think that's, I said like October 17th. 
So then I'll have to go out there, of course, and get, you know, that place back, you know, flipped over. I'll probably have a cleaning company come in and clean, but the master, I mean, the, the guest bathroom, I'll probably have to touch up the walls with some paint because the paint that they were using is more of a cheaper flat paint. So any little splash of water, you know how flat paint is. If you don't, it's it, it it does not do well with anything touching it. So, um, so yeah, so I'll probably do that as well. I just been talking and talking and talking. So I'm going to make some lunch. I want a nap. I want a nap so bad. <laughs> but I have multiple other things that I'm going to do. I need to do. So for now, I'm going to just make me some lunch and put this stuff out in the garage for now and then I will be back, I think. Yeah, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. Hold please. Good morning y'all, it is Thursday and it's already after 10. I have been up because I, of course, have waited till the last minute to pack. So I started doing that and doing some waxing, but this vlog is already over 50 minutes so I have a client this afternoon and I have a ton of stuff to get done before I leave for vacation so I'm going to end this vlog and so I can have time to finish my editing and getting it uploaded so it'll be ready for Sunday and I need to focus on making sure I don't forget anything for this trip because we all know how that goes. So, with that being said, um, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Remember, this one goes up on Sunday. Well, this one, you'll see this one on Sunday. And I will have a vlog for you all on Wednesday, which is a story time. So, I'll see you guys when I come back from vacation. Bye.